If a small magnifying glass will burn things with sunlight, how much power could you get from a lens as big as you? In this project, we're hacking open a rear projection TV because that's where you can find one of these amazing solar scorchers for free. To get started, the first thing I'm going to do is log online to my local classifieds and search for a free big screen TV. These TVs are way outdated and usually cost more to repair than they're worth, so loads of people are trying to get rid of them. I can already see one here. It's a 50 inch Toshiba and it looks like it's about 13 years old. Everything works except the color, and that's okay because I don't really intend to watch TV with it. These TVs are humongous and very heavy, so I'm going to need a truck and a little help. Now here's my brother with his truck. He's going to help me out today. It's about lunchtime and he's on his break. We've just arrived at this lady's house and stepped inside to thank her for donating her free TV. The price was certainly right and I'm a happy customer. Now you gotta watch out. These TVs can be a couple hundred pounds so I don't recommend lifting them on your own. Luckily this TV has rollers so we'll roll it over to the truck and load it with the screen facing up. We don't really care too much about the condition this travels in as long as the screen is protected. Now it's time to head back home and start hacking this TV apart. I'll unload the TV from the back of the truck. It is very heavy and unfortunately my brother's back at work so I'm unloading it by myself. But it's down now, there's some success, the TV is now in my backyard and I can get to work. First thing I'm going to do is remove this speaker guard to expose the speakers and I can take these and remove them for a future project. These are 8 ohm speakers and I'm sure I can find a good use for them. Now just above the speakers, I found a couple of tabs holding the screen in place. After removing the two screws on each side, the screen lifts straight up and pops off exposing the inside of the TV. You can see at the bottom the red, green, and blue cathode ray tubes with their respective lens casings, as well as a nice big mirror. Now since this mirror is used for projection, it's super reflective, so I'm going to remove the screws holding that in place and save it for a different project. This TV screen has three separate layers. It's hard to see, but the front layer is a large piece of plexiglass that could be useful. The middle layer is a vertical lined plastic, and this back piece is a giant virgin Fresnel lens. This is the piece that I'm after. I got lucky because this one happens to be a crystal clear lens that focuses to a point, and that's the best that I know of. It may not look like much, but this is a giant four foot magnifying lens. The amount of energy these lenses can generate is outstanding, producing temperatures over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. They can be used for heating, cooking, purifying water, and burning almost anything that you can imagine. Amazingly, they do all that just off sunlight. Now that I got the lens I was after, I'm going to play around with some of these other pieces on the TV. These projection lenses, the caster wheels, and the power cord can all be saved. And just for fun, I'm going to take one of these lens cases and hack it open to see what's inside. I'm going to save these nuts and bolts, then cut down the side of the casing here. And when it's cracked open, you can see about five different optical lenses. Now these are really neat because they're in perfect condition, and I may be able to use them in future light experiments. Most of them are plastic, but this focusing lens right here is pure glass. It's quite heavy, and the optics on it are amazing. If I focus it on my table as if I'm trying to burn the table, you can see it brings into focus the compact fluorescent lights that I'm using to light the room. I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, I've got the giant Fresnel lens separated from the frame now. You can see it's quite flimsy and awkward to hold. So I think I'm going to need to build some kind of a frame so I can use it hands free. Look for that in a different project. Well there you have it. Now you know the secret to finding a giant Fresnel lens absolutely free. Now a word of caution, these lenses generate a lot of power. They can concentrate the sun to a point that gets dangerously hot. It'll start fires instantly, melt concrete, and can certainly cook you. So please be careful. That's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com.